Hey everybody, it's Rob Nelson with Untamed Science. We're talking about the science of energy bars. Energy bar science! And how to make your own. Fact one, energy to a scientist at the FDA is anything that has calories. That means that any energy bar company can claim to give you energy, regardless of whether or not you feel energetic when you eat it. Who are energy bars made for? Probably active people. Fact two, the first energy bars were designed to keep endurance athletes from bonking on long distance races. And that means they had a lot of simple sugars. I think a lot of times people will look at it and think, Oh, this is what healthy people eat. Look, there's a climber on here, so I should probably eat this too, and sometimes that's not always the case. Fact three, there are lots of different types of bars. Regardless of how they're marketed, you need to know when a bar is right for you. When you look for an energy bar, what are you looking for? Ideally, I'm looking for something pretty simple, something that I know is going to deliver me energy pretty quickly. Here's an overview. We like to divide energy bars into three types. High-carb bars, which are ideal for athletes during a competition. High-protein bars, which are ideal for, say, weightlifters and the like who are trying to add lots of muscle. And 40-30-30 bars, which simulate a normal balanced diet with carbs, fats, and proteins. They're kind of like a meal replacement. But for this video, we're not going to go into the intricacies of every single one of these bars. I mean, there's a lot of bars. You've got to figure out which one's right for you point though is that you don't need these really expensive prepackaged bars you can make your own we're gonna show you how to do that and to do that Haley mm -hmm. 